For all your video and photography needs, definitely reach out to evokestudio.io. That's evokestudio.io. Stop by the website, check out our work, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks. Do you want to be a superhero? I'll answer that for you. Yes. Yes, you do. With this, you'll be able to see at night, 4 billion miles away. One Leaf sent out this 3 to 12 scope with this digital night vision attached to it. They did not sponsor this video, however, this video does have a sponsor. Check out the links below for that. It came with Picatinny rail mounts, so you can put this on your rifle or your cat or whatever, pending some modifications, I'm sure. It comes set up with everything, the scope, scope mount, lens caps, night vision, rechargeable lithium ion batteries, SD card for recording, cable, Allen wrenches, scope mounts, already mentioned scope mount like six times, didn't I? and miscellaneous uh, eye relief attachments. The night vision and the scope lock together like so. Just slide it right in and lock it into place. It actually takes quite a bit of pressure to get that on. I love how tight the tolerances are. All right, starting at the top, we have the IR light, it's right here. You can adjust that in and out to increase the uh, kind of candela, I don't know, the tightness of the beam. And then right below that we have the battery. I'll show you what that looks like, purple's nice. That is lithium ion rechargeable. Screw that back on. Looks like there is, yep, there's a little O-ring on that, so that's nice. Coming around to the other side, we have this little flappy boy here, and we have your SD card slot there. I think there's a micro USB slot right here on the side, and that is for your headphone jack. Yes, you can record video, slow-mo, regular mode, full HD, and you get audio and actually proof it or listen to it on the fly with some headphones. So that's pretty cool. And just below that, you have the focusing ring right here in the bottom. And then you have your diopter here. Squishy bits, eye relief. So that's what that looks like and feels like in the hand. Moving up to the scope, you're gonna start here. We have the diopter for the actual scope. Then from here, we have the three to 12 magnifier. So that's the throw on that. Let me see what it is, if I can give you some information on that. 180 degrees is what it looks like to me from here to there, right around 180 degrees. You got your scope mounts going on here, piece of rubber. I'm not sure what the hell that's doing on there. We have the reticle illuminator right here for your adjustments. And then right here in the tail cap, that is for where the battery goes. We'll look and see what we got going on in here. Lithium ion battery, CR2032, three volt. And then moving in towards the, the center to this 30 millimeter tube, we have the parallax adjustment. And then we have windage and elevation. It's a piece of rubber down there, so that's sealed off nicely, like that. We have eighth inch increments. That feels very, very nice and tactile. Let's see if you can hear that. One eighth MOA. That's what that sounds like for your listening pleasure. That feels good. It's very um, sticky in a good way, right? It's uh, got great resistance, maybe is a better way to say that. That feels good. This feels a lot um, nicer then it has any right to fill at this price point. I think uh, it comes in around 500 bucks for this combination, the best as I could find uh, online. I'll leave a link below to the links that I found for this. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. You just uh, go and check this out if this is right fit for you. These guys reached out to me via email. It seems they like to spit out a bunch of these night vision scopes to a handful of YouTubers for review. I've watched a few of the other reviews, AKA I watched a lot of rats and pigs die, and it seems to have a positive result. I'll do a preliminary test here indoors, and then I'll do a part two to this video of a user experience uh, and the setup and the details of everything I did to get this thing up and running. Instructions are really good, and that's surprising for something that ships from overseas usually. And the font is actually pretty readable. This is pretty fantastic. That's a rare sight, so that's appreciated. Speaking of being surprised, um, I was very surprised at the menu when looking through this um, and working through the menu. It's very intuitive, very nice, very modern. It's not some sort of archaic menu system that makes no sense, that makes you wanna throw it through the wall. So the menu system is really nice, at least on first impressions. So that's great. It does photo and video with audio, like I mentioned before. And it does claim slow-mo. We'll test that later. I spilled a little bit of Red Bull on my shirt. 
I'm not changing it. I'm just going to roll with it. I'll be going out to CQC Holster's private range to do daylight and night shooting, which will be the main focus of the follow-up review. And if you'd like to support the channel, uh, consider buying your next holster need from Close Quarters Carry. Dot com. I have a coupon code below to help save you guys 12%. So to wrap this up, we have this day and night mode built-in microphone, full HD, slow motion recording, and it does an auto save on your recording if you ever lose power for any reason. Uh, objective lens is at 56 millimeters. The adjustment increments for elevation and windage are at 1 8 MOA. It had everything it needed in the box when I opened it. I didn't have to buy anything. So that's nice and much appreciated. I look forward to seeing you guys um, back for part two of this video. You know what else is really fun for a horrible segue? Lifting heavy things and shooting stuff. Anybody interested in a tactical athlete competition, check out the PatriotGames.us. They're adding dates and locations all the time to their website. You can sign up to compete or just simply show up to spectate. The Patriot Games are basically a combination of CrossFit, Tough Mudder, and tactical shooting. It's pretty dope and the community is outstanding and Anthony and Allie always do a great job running these events. Many of you know Jessica and I do all the photography and videography for these events and we have a production company named evokestudio.io. We do everything from wedding photography to broadcast television. We do specialize in quite a few different things. I would love for you to stop by our website at evokestudio.io or you can click this QR code here down at the corner. I don't know where I'm going to put it so I'll just point all these different directions. But yeah, check out our work and reach out to us for all of your photography and videography needs. I feel grateful you would spend your valuable time with me. All right, we'll see you soon.